After five weeks of the leaders talking, now it's time to make your voice heard. It's election day in Manitoba. Good afternoon, I'm Chris Ledeen. Thanks for joining us. Polling stations are now open and voters will decide who the next premier of Manitoba will be. Good morning. Glad you could join us here on CTV Morning Live this Wednesday. In the next half hour, we're going to talk about mosquitoes and how you can mosquito proof your yard. That's always something people here in Winnipeg want to know. Also, when it comes to crying babies, maybe you should go against all your instincts and let them cry it out. Right now, though, let's take a look at the headlines. CTV's Jeff Keel joins us now from a polling station in Fort Rouge. Jeff, being our political expert, you've been looking forward to this day for a number of weeks now. What kind of voter turnout should we expect in this election? We have often heard Blue Bomber head coach Mike O'Shea speak about how much character his team has. On Saturday night, we'll find out if that's the case when the team tries to rebound from a terrible loss to the Stampeders in a game the team pretty much gave away. And judging by today's practice, the team has a short memory. Severe storms rolled through Manitoba last night, spawning at least one tornado and causing damage just south of Portage La Prairie. CTV's Stephanie Seacoast is on the Long Plain First Nation this morning. Stephanie, a night of chaos and violent weather as people are waking up. What are they seeing this morning? Good morning. It's 7 o'clock. Glad you could be with us here on CTV Morning Live this Friday. If you're just waking up, it's probably no surprise to hear Donald Trump is making news again. <laughs> However, this time it could be something that affects us here in Canada. We'll talk about his plans for the Trans-Canada Pipeline if he gets elected in business news with Patty coming up in about seven minutes. More Manitoba Hydro customers have come forward with big bills. We first told you Monday about a woman facing a $4,700 invoice. Now a Manitoba a man who lives in a solar-powered home says he's also hit a snag, which could have cost $2,600. CTV's Ben Milger joins us from the Peterson King Law Offices on River Avenue. That's where lawyer Maria Matusis was seriously injured in an explosion Friday. Ben, what can you tell us about Maria's condition this morning? One of the things when it comes to economy here in Manitoba, in the northern part especially, is tourism, polar bear tourism. Our friends in Churchill up there rely on that. That's tied into the environment, how we treat that. You know, you're for sustainability. Do you have any specifics on that? Uh, absolutely. All right, you might wonder why we're on the street corner with a baby T-Rex and Terry Summers. We're talking about walking with dinosaurs coming to the MTS Center October 8th. Look how realistic this guy is. This is amazing, Terry. Tell me some specs on him. There's an underscore of music that is absolutely stunning. Two, over 200 intelligent lights. It is really the perfect place to go to treat your family, and it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. That was definitely the biggest pair of lips ever on this face. <laughs> walking with dinosaurs, it's October 8th through 12th at MTS Center. I can't wait for this show. It's going to be awesome. Terry, thanks a lot for stopping by and bringing the baby to you. Oh. All right, well, Gilbert, you're in Winnipeg. You're here for oh, thank two you. shows tonight, two tomorrow at Rumors. Three of them are sold out, which a cheap guy like you will love to hear. Uh, yeah. So let's sell out that fourth <laughs> show. Thanks a lot for stopping by. Appreciate that. Thank you. That. Can we stand up so they yeah. can see the difference oh, in yeah. our height? That's right. See, you can't look, even get my head on the thing. Look, there you go. Look, that's right. Look, that's right. Look, look at this. You can't even this, get that. Yeah. There's a side view. It's there you like go. I'm here with Herman Munster. <laughs> <laughs> Gilbert Gottfried at Rumors.